What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the German Bear Podcast and today we want to talk about a draft scenario for the Chicago Bears. What happens if Malik Neighbors or Roma Dunze are not available at the number 9 overall spot? The Chicago Bears still hold the number one and number nine overall pick in the 2024 draft. And after trading Justin Fields, it very much looks like they're going to draft a quarterback with the number one overall pick. So with the number nine overall pick, there's still lots of options for the Chicago Bears to improve the roster overall. And two big options will be actually Malik Neighbors and Roma Dunze to add to the wide receiver squad. Now today we want to look at what if those two players are not available and what the Chicago Bears could pick instead at the number nine overall spot or potentially could trade down as well from that position in the draft now before we want to do that let's look at the majority of the free agent moves that the Chicago Bears have done the next big thing will be the draft so I expect not too many big free agency moves moving forward by the Chicago Bears before the draft after the draft obviously there will be a lot more movement as well with training camp but at this point in time this should be the majority of ads for the Chicago Bears that will have a bigger impact now real quick as an overview for the Chicago Bears additions this offseason so far they traded for Keenan Allen, the wide receiver 1.2. I want to call him because uh, DJ Moore and Keenan Allen both were wide receiver ones in my opinion. I don't want to specifically call the one or the other the superior one on the receiving depth chart. Also, they added DeAndre Swift, a true running back one to the Chicago Bears that adds a lot of versatility to the Chicago Bears offense. They added a starting free safety replacing Eddie Jackson with Kevin Byard, also a former Eagle just like DeAndre Swift. They also further improved the offense with adding two offensive linemen in Ryan Bates and Coleman Shelton, two players that could potentially compete for the starting center spot. And then they also late in free agency signed Jacob Martin, a edge rusher, who's going to be a good rotational player and will definitely add some pass rush versatility to the Chicago Bears edge rotation. Now, as far as for the needs for the Chicago Bears heading into the draft at this point in time, the biggest one is probably the edge rusher position opposite of Montez Sweat. Also, wide receiver is still a pretty big need in my opinion because Keenan Allen is basically on a one-year deal and I don't know if the Chicago Bears are going to retain him after this year it would be great obviously but we'll never know so it obviously makes sense and because he's on the older side to look for not a replacement but a complementary weapon that can be just another baller for Caleb Williams starting off his young NFL career also interior offensive lineman is something the Bears still should look out to and also the offensive tackle position especially left tackle is something that's kind of underrated depending on who's available at the draft board safety is still a need not necessarily because of Kevin Byer but just because of getting someone in that you potentially could develop and also interior defensive line is something that that you could always add on to as well. So those are the biggest needs I identified for the Chicago Bears going into the 2024 NFL Draft. And with that being said, let's actually look into the first option that we have in today's video, which is players available with sticking with the number nine overall pick. And for me, this is pretty easy. I mean, the edge rusher position is a group that is not really top, top tier in this year's draft class, but those players could all go in the range of five to pick 15. And for me right here at the number nine overall spot, the players that are most attractive to me as edge rushers are Dallas Turner and Jared Verse. And I'm honestly speaking for both of them when I'm saying really high upside rushers that are unfinished gems with good qualities that they can already offer. Both of them have really good speed to power moves. Jared Verse between the two is probably the guy with more power, but Dallas Turner at the other side has more speed and more bend to him as well. So both players, really good guys, will be drafted into highly beneficial situations for themselves as well, playing next to Montez sweat a true number one edge rusher so they're gonna face more likely one-on-one -on -one situations against tackles so that's great for them early on their NFL career and I hopefully believe in Matt Eberflus and the defensive coaching staff to really form them into really good edge rushers moving forward but both of them really attractive options in the draft early on for the Chicago Bears as for another position group that's really intriguing to me personally is the offensive tackle class overall at the number nine spot for me two players that I'm eyeing are Troy Fautanu from Washington and Ole Fashanu from Penn State and I do really like Braxton Jones as a potential starter for the Chicago Bears I made an entire film room episode about his last season for the Chicago Bears but there is room for improvement that's factual and even though I want to give Braxton Jones the option to actually improve
improve as a player, there's always the chance for the Chicago Bears falling in love with a prospect and just preferring that guy over Braxton Jones. And honestly, if Braxton Jones is going to be the swing tackle for the Chicago Bears behind potentially Faltanu or Olu Fashanu and also at the right tackle spot with Darnell Wright, I would absolutely take that. Because you'll never know if a player goes down to, to injury. So in that case, you have a really good backup plan as well. But yeah, because for me overall, this is a really good tackle class. You have so many high upside players there and creating the best possible environment for Caleb Williams is key to make sure that he will succeed because this is what failed Justin Fields, right? He was not in the correct environment to actually thrive. Now Caleb has a chance and the Bears have the chance to actually provide that to Caleb Williams. Also, Fuaga for me, overall incredible mover. He looked so good at the combine and even though he's a little bit smaller, he still has really good length for a smaller tackle. He has really good wingspan and arm length, though he actually shouldn't struggle with longer rushers at all in the NFL. So for me, he's also a very valid option, just like Fashanu. And yeah, overall, just as I said, the Bears might fall in love with one of those guys, and it just takes one of them to be actually really high on the Chicago Bears board for them actually to take them. But for me, honestly, that's definitely an option, and I would be excited if the Chicago Bears take a tackle, and it would be just a good addition to the Chicago Bears roster, but it's not the biggest need, as I said earlier as well. Now, with that being said, we actually want to move on to the second option that's obviously on the board as well, which is actually trading down from the number nine overall spot. The Bears do only have three picks at this point in time in the 2024 NFL Draft, so you definitely want to add to that, and 100% sure that Ryan Poles actually wants to do that too, so it's not like he's not going to do that. I think he will We'll find a way to add more picks to this Chicago Bears draft but yeah overall for the options that will be in the mid-teens I think if the Chicago Bears trade down it's going to be in the mid-teens to early 20s so for wide receivers there's a couple of ones that I really like Brian Thomas Jr. and Adonai Mitchell would be amazing additions to the Chicago Bears roster I talked about Adonai Mitchell a little bit deeper in the draft prospect series on the channel but also Brian Thomas Jr. while I was watching the league neighbors tape definitely popped off of tape as well and was super super impressive so for me this is the start of the second tier of wide receivers after the big three Marvin Harrison Jr. Roma Dunze and Malik Neighbors but it's still a really good wideout class after that and those players are phenomenal players that would be great compliments to the offense of the Chicago Bears those two guys Brian Thomas Jr. and Anani Mitchell would be true outside wide receivers that will complement Keenan Allen and DJ Moore to perfection DJ Moore is going to be probably a Z receiver for the Chicago Bears or X I don't care, but he's probably going to be outside. And then you add maybe Brian Thomas Jr. or add an I Mitchell to the other side off the field. And then Keenan Allen will absolutely eat and thrive as a slot wide receiver that you can also move around. It's not like those players are all limited to the outside or the slot position. Just like Keenan Allen and DJ Moore, both players, Brian Thomas Jr. and add an I Mitchell have the options to move inside and outside and play for multiple spots. So that gives a lot of versatility to the Chicago Bears offense. And we would just have an incredible incredible wide receiver core at the top of the NFL which will be so so exciting as a Chicago Bears fan and for the edge rusher position at the mid-teens to early 20s I think Layatu Latu is definitely an option here for me he's easily an option at the number nine spot too uh, there's obviously questions how much more is there in the tank because he's a very well-developed player how much more upside is there with him and with the injury status that was something that was concerning all throughout this offseason as well but honestly the results came back really well at the combine about his injuries and he looks really really good in shape and right now at this point in time he is the best edge rusher in this class the most polished one and he's an easy 10 plus sack guy in his first year in the NFL I am pretty sure about that so it will be another incredible addition next to Montez Sweat probably the safest one that you can pick at the edge position if he stays healthy so Layatu Latu the deeper you get into the draft and if he's still available that will be a really good addition and I would absolutely love that as well as for the last guy that we want to talk about today, the last player potentially available in the late teens to probably early 20s would be Jackson Powers Johnson. The interior offensive lineman, to be more specific, center out of Oregon, is a plug-and-play 10-plus year starter at center no matter where he goes. I mean, if it wasn't for the position, he would probably go much higher because he's such a complete player. He's going to start right away, just going to dominate the league, in my opinion. That's how he looked on tape. That's how he performed at the Senior Bowl, and every everywhere else to come on as well he just looked phenomenal throughout his entire draft process and even though it would not be the most shiny move it would be something to really add on to the Chicago 
Bears roster and just fix the offensive line position, at least for the center spot for the next 10 plus years. So I would say you could definitely do worse than that. So for the overall conclusion for today's video, the 2024 NFL draft class is a very, very deep one. And even if we do not get Malik Neighbors or Roma Dunze, there's a big town pool for the Chicago Bears to pick and choose from to really improve the roster and make them a serious contender in 2024. Now, would I still love to see Malik Neighbors and Roma Dunze being called with the number nine overall pick? Absolutely. But this video was for the potential scenario if they are not there at those spots. So yeah, with that being said, that's the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Definitely let me know in the comments down below who's your favorite option if the Chicago Bears do not get Malik Neighbors or Roma Dunze at the number nine overall spot. Like and subscribe if you liked the video. Check out Instagram and Twitter if you want to as well. And as always, guys, bear down.